Deep Ellum at Postino Wine Bar, and I'm here with Quinn, the manager, and Quinn's going to show us what they are known for. Yeah, so um, bruschetta is really our bread and butter. I mean, no pun intended, <laughs> but um, it's fancy toast with toppings. Um, so I chose a couple things. We have our ricotta dates and pistachio. We have our warm artichoke spread. Um, the house favorite, which is the brie apple and fig. Oh. And then our smoked almond hummus with crushed tomato. Um, My mouth is watering now, just yeah. so you know. <laughs> yeah. This looks great. Um, the brie apple and fig is definitely the most popular. You know, you have that great brie, um, like offset by the sweet fig jam and then the, the crisp brie apple. But you have like how what's how many varieties of bruschetta do you have? Here? So there's twelve all together on our list. Um, you can pick from four. And actually, I always suggest to new new timers um, on Monday and Tuesday nights we do board and bottle. Um, it's from eight p.m. until close, and it's twenty five dollars for a bottle of wine and a board of bruschetta. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Yeah. Great. So you can come in and get lots of lots of different combinations. And then for our cheese board, we have a Cambozola Gorgonzola, which is a German style brie. We have some walnuts, candied oranges. We also have our rotating hard cheese, which is always something different. Um, currently, we are using the barely buzzed, so it's going to be uh, a cheese that's uh, the crust is going to be espresso and lavender, so it's got really great flavor. Yeah. yeah. It's got a really strong flavor, but that the espresso and the lavender come through. Uh, we also have some Granny Smith apples, lavash, and then some, mm -hmm. some cherries, dried cherries. This is a beautiful board. Absolutely. And what's this one? So that's going to be one of our breeze as well. Mm -hmm. It's, it's like a triple be, cream. Yeah. Wow, you nailed yeah. it. Good call. It's the Daffinois Brie. Okay. Yeah, so we use the uh, the Bellatois Brie for our Brie Apple and Fig, and then nice. the Daffinois for our market Ooh. cheese. So these are going to be our candied oranges. Mm. Um, they're very sweet, um, very dessert centered, um, but it's really bright and it goes really well on the great glass of wine. Yes, <laughs> yes. I'm so glad to see that these are cut into individual portions because I was wondering how I was going to eat it. Yeah, it does make it a little bit more user friendly. Yes, it does. Because yeah. I was just thinking, I'm going to, I'm going to tear this thing apart when yeah. I try to cut into it. So again, this is going to be a brie apple and fig. It's got a base of that fig jam, uh, and then you have a layer of the Bellatois brie, and then Granny Smith apples on the top. I'm so pleasantly surprised that I bit into this and I, I didn't break it too. Like it's because sometimes you get bruschetta and you're and you're like worried you're gonna like need dental work afterwards. Yeah. This is very very um friendly. Absolutely. Yeah, we we go through a lot to calibrate our toasters yeah. in the back, uh, and our chefs are constantly checking the quality, making sure that it's toasted to the right level, yes. um, so that you don't get tear up the top of your mouth, mm -hmm. or on the other side, get soggy bruschetta. Yes. No, I, I actually uh, broke a tooth at, uh, won't say where, once. Oh my eating bruschetta with some candied oranges. Yeah. And I broke a tooth I can scarf this and not worry. This is perfect. Well, and the bread is itself great. is actually Postino loaf. So every time we move into a new city, a new market, we work with a local bakery. Uh, in this uh, instance, it's Las Viga. And they help us, and they actually use a starter for us. So it's only for our bread. It's our recipe. That's we work. Nice. Yeah. And uh, our starter in Phoenix is 20 years old. So we're, we're hoping to start the new 20-year-old starter here in Dallas. That's wonderful. So you source local when you Absolutely. All of our draft is local. And so our upward, our LLC is called Upward Projects. Mm -hmm. And really the idea behind Postino it came from when Craig DeMarco and his wife Chris DeMarco uh, traveled to Europe and experienced the wine bar scene. Uh, and it was meant to be local neighborhood spots where people could drink, drink great wine, eat local food, and hang with people who are there to enjoy it. It wasn't meant for sommeliers and stiff neck, up, you know, uptight people to talk about fancy wine. Just neighborhood spots. So we always try to move into an area like Deep Ellum that's um, up and coming, has a ton of rich culture and history. Uh, and it's really meant to be a neighborhood spot and not like a national spot. Okay, so even though you are a chain, you still have local roots, we local do. ties. Yeah. And we're still privately owned, so uh -huh. everything we do is, it's not corporate, we don't have a franchise, uh, it's still all in-house and all 
heart. It's great. You do get that community feel here. I love it. Well, we're lucky yeah. to be here. I mean, oh, we, yeah. we love Depot. Great. This is wonderful. I'm so excited that you invited me in to try all of these wonderful things. I will be back. I'm for excited. Sure. We're going to try brunch out on your patio and bring my puppy. You can make him an official Pocino pup. Awesome. Thank you again so much. This is amazing. You guys get in here as soon as you can and try this place. The cheese boards are great. The bruschetta is amazing. Thanks guys for watching. See you on the next Meatless with Amanda.